this video, we're going to be breaking down the blitz of the day. And today we're going to be taking a look at a blitzing concept out of the dollar three two six that I really like, especially for gun bunch. This is one of the best bunch blitzes um, in Madden 22 this year. And it's really good for any playbook, any formation that they don't run a lot of play action. So trip side in, they run a lot of play action out of that. So it's not super effective against trip side in. Um, there's other blitzes in dollar that are really good, like the DB Fire 2. Um, but what we're going to look at today is the Edge Blitz, um, Edge Blitz 2, if I can find it, maybe. Um, if you don't have Edge Blitz 2, Edge Blitz 3 will be just fine, um, or Edge Blitz 1, you know, whatever you want to do there. So we're just going to use Edge Blitz, uh, Edge Blitz 3. So you can find dollar in, um, you can find dollar in, the uh, four six defensive playbook, and if you want to learn my entire dollar three two six defense, I've got a full ebook on it in my Patreon membership. It's only ten dollars to sign up for the Patreon, and you'll get access to all of my Madden twenty two offensive and defensive ebooks, including my dollar three two six guide. And if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. It's only ten bucks to get signed up for that. But Edge Blitz three, um, and really any of the Edge Blitz plays. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to flip the play. You're going to QB, um, just so that this guy's on the running back side, you're going to QB contain, and then you're going to press. So you see that this kind of looks like DB Fire 2, if you will. Um, I like to spread my line, and then we'll take that nickel corner. And what we want to do with the nickel corner here is we want to do something like, like this, if you will. Um, and then we're just going to kind of stand right in here. And at the snap of the ball, what you'll see is that they'll get this really good loop concept that comes around the quarterback. Now, I'll show you something else that you can do um, or like an audible that you might want to have in your arsenal that can make this a little bit easier um, on you. So when you're setting your audibles, you can put the Edge Blitz 3 on the RB audible, and then you can put the Strong Eagle Slant 3 on the LB audible. And then when you're running dollar, I think it's best to run it as a baseline defense, um, generally speaking, unless you're running a lot of man coverage. Um, and I'll show you why this is so good. So what we can do is, you know, based off of like, let's say it's bunch. So we're in edge blitz three. If we audible to strong eagle slant three, you'll see here. Eh, I guess I'll lie to you. I don't know why I didn't flip. But anyways, you just flip the play and it's fine. And then... You're just going to this with this slot cornerback. Um, you can put him in a bluff blitz assignment, um, and that will put him into a free wreck, and he'll guard running back wheels really well. So you see here, he'll really guard that running back wheel. The the edge the edge blitz concept um, comes in also. One little pro tip I think for this is I think it's best when you're running this defense, just make sure that your line is spread. Um, it's just going to be helpful. You can crash your line, but I wouldn't. I would just do this, and then you can kind of use her this guy. If you want to stand here, you can. You can also stand kind of right in here. And again, for running back wheels, this is one of the best defenses in the game, as you see how good that edge blitz and that edge rush is uh, from this defense. Now, what's also interesting is if you wanted to run this from man to man, um, you certainly can. So if you're someone that likes to run man coverage out of dollar, um, you can use edge blitz one. And what you'll see with this, um, I guess I need to put my play here. So with edge blitz one, what you can do, same kind of thing. I would man align um, with this because it's going to create kind of this look, which is a really good look for your defense. Um, QB contain and then just man up that guy. So you see it looks kind of like this. And then now you're free to be kind of underneath and playing anything underneath. And you have a man coverage, uh, kind of a man coverage key. Make sure you spread that D line. And then you'll see here you get this nice loop. And then you also have really good man coverage uh, in behind it. I will say the edge blitz one, in my opinion, um, is, is the least consistent from a blitzing perspective. I'm not really sure, honestly, why. Uh, one other thing that you can do that I think is, is pretty good is you could do something like this where you you kind of like run it off of the tight end side. It's not bad off of the tight end side. Um, so you see we've got really good coverage over there. And then, you know, we could do whatever. We could do something like this, um, you know, if we wanted to do that. But 
but anyways what you'll see here is off the tight end side it's 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 not as bad it's still fine um it's not as effective but it is effective so if you wanted to save yourself an adjustment like let's say you're running edge blitz three or whatever edge blitz one you can save yourself um you can save yourself an adjustment with this and then what you see here is we just need to man up that slot corner on the tight end give him really good outside leverage and then what you'll see is this can be you know kind of a decent little little pressure that you can have out of this so that's edge blitz three edge blitz one um, and how I like to run them from a blitzing perspective the last thing I want to show you is how they do and really what I think makes these uh, blitzes really effective is how they do against blocked running back and blocked tight end out of bunch so if they block their tight end um, again you got to flip your play because you want it to come off the running back side so just flip your play contain and then you have this guy in, in there but what you'll see is if it comes off this side you see it's it's going to come in the, the block tight end is not going to stop it and then we know that from the way madden works this year um if let's let's like let's say they they block a running back a lot of times if they block a running back it's not going to pick it up sometimes sometimes a tackle will pick it up and that's more of like a you need to spread your line kind of thing um you know it, it's it's really you know you could do something like this um but you just kind of want to like stand in the scap or essentially hold the guard uh, i think it's best if you just hold this guard and then if they block the running back you'll see here as long as the tackle doesn't pick him up um it'll come in the blocks running back is really you know it's not like let's see here like let's say let's say i do something like this Let's say I pinch my linebackers to give them a little bit more, um, you know, room to work on that side. You'll see here he comes in; it doesn't really matter. So it really comes down to the the tackle and, and on either side. And even if they max protect, you're gonna see here like it's really not gonna it's it's really not gonna pick it up. Um, this is one of those blitzes that's really difficult to pick up this year. You'll see how he loops around. Now right there, the running back did pick him up. But I will tell you, it's very inconsistent that the running back actually is able to pick him up. Um, just from my personal experience running the blitz. So, you know, I think the pinch linebackers can make it just a, just a little bit better against Max Protect. And you see he's looping around there. You see how he kind of like passes off the running back and is able to kind of at least just put the quarterback on a timer. And that's why loop blitzes are so effective. Now, the best way to pick this up is to run a play action play. And if they're gonna run a lot of play action plays, there's another blitz out of dollar we talked about yesterday out of DB Fire 2 that is really effective for that type of pass protection. So that's another little uh, nugget that you can have there. But anyways, these are a couple really good blitzing concepts out of dollar 326. If you wanna learn my entire dollar 326 defensive ebook, or if you just wanna get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, Make sure that you sign up for the Patreon page. It's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to all of our eBooks and all of our updates to those eBooks throughout the Madden 22 season. And also, we got a lot of really cool stuff coming up in the membership concerning uh, Madden 23 and kind of getting you ready for that with different concepts and things that will cross apply. So if you want to sign up for the membership, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.